Hi friends, in this session we study about the higher order derivatives or order differentiation or it is also known as the successive differentiation. So first I explain you what is higher order derivatives. If we differentiate any function we get the first derivative or differentiating the first derivative of a function we obtain second derivative. Differentiating the second derivative we get the third derivative and so on. This process of finding derivatives of higher order is known as successive differentiation. So first of all, I would like to explain about the notation what we use for uh, showing the different order derivatives. So here you look at in this table, uh, I have written in the derivatives and here is the notation what we use for that. The first order derivative if you have to explain, if you have to show, so it could be showed through the y days or y1 or dy over dx. The second order derivative we could explain or the so through the y double days y2 d square y over dx square and third order derivative look at here y triple days y3 d cube y over dx cube and so on we could uh, show the uh, derivatives of different order. Now if you have to explain the nth order derivative we could write y n or d power n y over dx power n. So in this way we could show the derivatives of different orders. So here we take one tutor tag example. Uh, we have to find second order derivative of y is equal to 3x cube plus 4x square minus 7x plus 9. So here we have to find out the second derivative. That means we have to find the y double days or y two d square y over dx square. So we start this. So first I find out the first derivative dy over dx is equal to we, if we differentiate this so we get here 3 we take outside uh, it is the coefficient ddx of x cube plus 4 ddx of x square minus 7 ddx of x and ddx of 9. So we have to find the derivative of this. So we get here dy over dx is equal to uh, x power 3 the differentiation of x power 3 3x square. So 3 is already here 3 into 3x square plus 4 into 2x the differentiation of x square is 2x Here is x. So differentiation of this is 7. The differentiation of x is 1. So it would be 7. And the differentiation of any constant number is 0. Now we simplify this. dy over dx is equal to 3 into 3 9 x square plus 4 into 2 8 x minus 7. So this is our first order derivative of this function. Now we find out the second order derivative. So I take here second order derivative d over dx of dy over dx on the left side. On right side we have to again differentiate this d dx of 9x square plus 8x minus 7. So we could write in this way d square y over dx square. So here we get 9 we take outside it is the coefficient d over dx of x square. It is the coefficient we take it outside d over dx of x and d over dx of 7. Now we get here 9 into 2 x the differentiation of x square is 2 x differentiation of x is 1 8 into 1 and differentiation of any constant number here the constant number is 7 so it is 0 here you see 9 into 2 18 it is 18 x 8 into 1 is 8 so you get here the finally the second order derivative of this function is 18x plus 8. 
so these are the final reply of this question now we take another question for this look at here in question number second u is equal to x cube log x prove that d power 4 y over dx power 4 is equal to 6 over x so we have to find it out so we start this uh, first we find out the first derivative of these functions because we know that the function is y is equal to x cube into log x so we will use here product rule for this so the first derivative dy over dx is equal to derivative of first function d over dx of x cube second function as it is this is our first function and this is our second function so second function we have to write down as it is plus derivative of second function d over dx of log x and first function as it is okay implies that dy over dx is equal to if we differentiate x cube we get 3x square and log x as it is if we differentiate log x we get 1 over x and here is x cube and implies that dy over dx is equal to 3x square log x plus x square how we what this i explain you x one time here yeah, get x square so in this we get here x square and finally dy over dx is equal to x square we take common 3 log x plus 1 now we again get the function in the product form so we get the second derivative now of this therefore d square y over dx square is equal to uh, this is our first function now this is our second function the derivative of first function d over dx of x square second function as it is plus derivative of second function d over dx of 3 log x plus 1 and first function as it is implies d square y over dx square is equal to the differentiation of x square is 2x and second function as it is and differentiation of log x is 1 over x and 3 is the coefficient so it is 3 over x and the differentiation of 1 is 0 so you write as it is and here x square implies that d square y over dx square is equal to 2x log x sorry 3 log x plus 1 plus 3x so I explain how we got this so here is x only therefore we got here the second derivative second order derivative d square y over dx square is equal to we can take x common outside or i multiply this inside to or in this bracket so we get here 6 log x plus 2 plus 3 here is 3 we have So we put here implies i simplify here finally we get here d square y dx square x is outside here so it is 6 log x plus 5 now we have to find the third derivative therefore d cube y over dx cube is we have to apply here product rule again derivative of first function second function as it is
6 log x plus 5 plus derivative of second function and first function as it is. Now we simplify this. The derivative of x is 1, second function as it is. Derivative of 6 log x would be, the 6 is the coefficient we have to write as it is and the log x 1 over x, the derivative of 5 which is a constant is 0 and the derivative, uh, the second function as it is, we have to write down x. Now, finally we get here, it implies we simplify this one more step. 6 log x plus 5 plus 6. Therefore, third derivative, we have got 6 log x plus 11. Now, we have to find out the fourth derivative. Therefore, d power 4y over dx power 4. So, d dx of 6 log x plus 11. So, we get here. Finally, we get the reply for this. d power 4y over dx power 4 is equal to, if we get the differentiation of 6 log x, 6 is the coefficient to we have to write as it is and the differentiation of log x is 1 over x and the differentiation of 11 which is a constant is 0. So, 6 over x is our final reply what we have to prove here in this question. So, I explain you, we have to prove that the fourth derivative is 6 over x. So, look at here, we have to prove this one. So, we have proved now. So, in this way we could uh, find out the successive differentiation of different functions as per the requirement or we have to go through the first derivative then second then third and so on. So, thank you.